People trapped in a gimmicky assembly of cubes yet again. Only this time it fucks around with time and dimensions. There's quite some ingenuity with the cube effects, but sadly that's not the case with story and characters. Dumb dialogues, idiotic twists and bad CGI are review-wise useless as the 90 minutes spin away without any boredom. As far as bad sequels go, this is a tolerable one. Never dull, quick paced until the disappointing ending. Very mid with too few cool kills, but short and entertaining, 22 bucks. 27 bucks for the Stephen King TV movie vibes.